All right, Mariah, so can you explain a little bit about the differences between the deep subcutaneous injection and an intramuscular injection? Yeah, absolutely. So the deep subcutaneous injections um, have a much smaller needle. Um, Administration-wise is a little more kind of all-inclusive than the IM injections where they have a larger needle. Um, setup takes a little bit longer. Um, patients sometimes report a little more pain with the intramuscular injection than they do with the deep sub-Q, um, but definitely some different administration setups and um, techniques that are needed with them. And then how is uh, octreotide uh, LAR usually injected? So usually, so that one's the intramuscular injection. Um, it comes as a full kit and the medication itself is in a powder form. You have to kind of set up the medication itself, inject the saline into it, let the medication dissolve, um, and then the preparation process and drawing it up into the syringe is pretty um, tedious and then giving it as well because it can react with the needle and clot. So when you go to give it, you have to kind of give it right away and inject quickly mm -hmm. to make sure that that medication gets administered. Okay, and how does that compare with the administration using lanreotide? Um, lanreotide is kind of an all-in-one included. Um, the syringe comes pre-filled. There's no mixing needed. Um, there's a new design now to the syringes, which has gotten great be feedback from patients. Um, they're a bigger syringe, so it's easier for us from the nursing standpoint to give them medication because it's a little um, easier to grip and grasp and then the plunger is a little bit bigger as well so it doesn't feel as flimsy there's not as much movement and the needle seems a little sharper when you give it to I've had patients report that this injection is much better they feel like they can't feel a thing um, oh, even hear. patients who have gotten the medication you know for years they are really happy with this new injection setup it's definitely a neat advice, a neat device. Yes, yes, definitely. And can you tell us a little bit more about your personal experience using this new device? Yeah, so um, previously with the old lanreotide syringes, there was a device around the plunger that you did have to take off. Um, now it's just an all-in-one. All you have to do is remove the cap. Um, but personally, I think it's a much sturdier syringe. It's much easier to use. Um, there's a lot of different grip support, whether it's on the barrel or the plunger, um, even the needle cap itself, because one of the biggest risks nurses faces is um, accidentally poking yourself with oh, a needle. Gotcha. So just a little more sturdy and support for the, the syringe itself. Very nice. Have you received any feedback from patients using this new device? Yes, patients love it. Um, they say that they can barely feel the needle even going in. Um, I feel like because the syringe itself is so much easier for the nursing staff to handle, there's not as much movement during the injection. Um, the medication itself is pretty thick, so it does get injected over about 20 seconds. And usually the best thing to do is just kind of have an open dialogue with patients, talk to them while you're giving the medication, um, and the 20 seconds flies pretty quick and, and they get through it pretty well. And is there any practical advice you can offer to other nurses to use this device? Um, definitely just make sure you have kind of reviewed the steps of the lanreotide injection, especially versus the LAR because they are very different. Making sure that when you go to give it to the patient, you're letting them know where you're going to give it. Always make sure you're alternating which side um, gluteal that you're giving it because they can develop little nodules. Mm -hmm. Definitely make sure not to give where a nodule is um, and always in the outer part of the gluteal um, subcutaneous tissue for it. Those are great recommendations. Thank you.